I'm not sure whether I've ever uploaded that part of this deck fuel call, but I've taken it apart. Fuel solenoid, so that is the casing. I've just sanded it up. This is the actual call, 24 volts. Uh, that's supposed to have uh, two calls, a holding call and a pull call. That's what I single feed in and the two ones go by means of a switch uh, arrangement which is at the bottom so the switch arrangement sits here that was the one was as full as water a while ago and then uh, I've taken it all apart that comes out of the whole housing that piece comes out of the housing and that's the plunger which sits in a bar sleeve so uh, something is cooked here so I'm going to unwind it, work out how many turns because it's dead short, so it's blowing uh, fuses. So I've up and wrapped the coal. It's been warm, I can't see but it's flashed. But um, 24 volts comes in on these sides so I think it may have flashed over here so we need to look at that. Start uh, measuring the wire gauge and then uh, so you can fix it on the home test again, and it's dead short at the moment. Feeling this back here, that's the positive or the active. So you can see there's actually two wires. One goes inside, uh, that'll be out of the pulling coal, and there's a thin wire goes to the outside. That might be the holding coal, I think. So there's two wires in, and then they go to common points. So you have the negative is there for the total, but then one call gets switched out through one of these by means of the switch when the plunger hits it. I'm just making some uh, temporary wheels to pull the wire on, you will see. I've got the device. Some temporary calls I make. Some temporary wheels to pull the wire off from this device here. So I make some small wheels, I glue these on some, some spindles, some conduit pipe and then we can wind the wire off that coal and put it on the other coal. A couple of days later, progress on the coal winder. Um, I use this motor of this mechano gear wheel. I'm modifying it, now I'm going to put uh, this gear wheel on here, bigger gear wheel. And that gear wheel, they come out of an old copier, they give me a, because I need an increase in rotational speed. So. Working on that, M6 threaded bolts, these uh, roller bearings are M8 so I need to make some uh, bushes for it somehow to sort it out. These are the temporary coils when I'm going to wind that coil wire on. Temporary coils, they need to be aligned so they've got M6 holes, these little things so they need to be glued on here. So my idea is, I'll just drill a couple of these out. That is uh, M8 roughly, so I need to drill these holes out, so I'll put three or so on here, the motor shaft, and then line the gear wheel up as best as I can, and put some bolts through it, and hopefully that holds it in place, so we'll see how we go. It's another hot day, just enjoying the good weather, you know, growing some plants at the same time, so yeah, stay posted. Making some good progress, got this fitted here, and I got the gear wheel onto some, uh, attach it onto there. This spindle will fit on the shaft here, and I'm going to make a key for it so I can lock it in. Seem to work out pretty good, so uh, yeah, that's the next step, and then we'll do a test one and see if it works. The principle one is really good, a few modifications to be done still. Those bolts are a bit too long. Some spacers in there. Overall, I'm quite happy with the overall results for now. So for now, I'll leave it like this. This is working fine. The drive is good. This is one of the drums. Just squashed them with M6 nuts and seem to hang in there nicely. So I need to make another support and then uh, start unwinding the faulty coil. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.